I thought long and hard how to do this introduction, but all I can say is this model is a big one. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another yeah, it's the ex the only one I have got, the Expanse, the official ship collection from Eagle Moss Hero Collector with Prime Video, Alcan. This is the Rosinante. This is the hero ship. If you've never watched the Expanse and you watch sci-fi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop watching this. Go no, watch watch this to the end. And yeah, this was a Mars ship. I have watched the series. It took me three goes to get into it. The first couple, I couldn't understand what it was, but it's developing the whole idea with Earth, with Mars, with the Belters, with prospectors, with all sorts of pirates and everything. It's just dumping you in this massive world set in the future. Now, it's got my biggest bugbear on here to start with. This, while I'm taking this off, I'm gonna explain something. There was a delivery. Now this was, actually it took over two, about two weeks for this to be delivered. Um, we heard horror stories that this was out and I thought, I'm getting it. I want it because I really do like this. The Cerritos, not Cerritos, that was the last video. The Expanse came with four ships. Whether or not they were ever released or not, I don't know. The Rosinante, standard size, was released in February 2022. And that was fine because I missed it completely. Nice detail, and that was nice. That came off clean for a change. Um, they also brought out the Razorback, which was the the ship that they got stolen or whatever. They also tried doing the UN-1, which I don't think was ever released. There is models. If, if I'm, I'm on uh, Wikiban at the moment, slash toys, slash Edel Moss, dash Expanse. And yeah, it shows you the Rosinante. It shows you the Razorback, and it shows you UN-1. For the dates and I do remember seeing Razorback but I don't know whether or not they actually did it or not um, this was meant to be released and it was released I think in March 2022 this is the XL this is the only XL that they did for the Expanse series so this didn't need a sticker on the front because this front bit actually has a magnet in it so let's have this is yeah Ooh. Okay, so here's a bit of um, theatre. Um, the Expanse, official collection, the model is part of the collection, the die-cast replicas of the Expanse ships. Yeah, nice effort. Um, the the Rosinante is a Corvette-class light frigate, um, accompanied by the Martian. Yeah, it was an MCRN ship. Yeah, I'm, I'm more interested in getting this out here. This is very nice. Um, sponge. I think I might have to get the scalpel again and just go underneath. <gasps> I've seen something you haven't. Okay, so we've got theatre. The last bit of theatre I actually did, bought, was a box for the Atari 2600. Somebody does reproduction boxes on uh, in online, on eBay, and it was, they opened the box up and you'd open one bit and there was a shrink wrapping, there was like stickers on it. You open a bit of extra shrink wrapping around it and it said nearly there. And another bit and they're oh, we're almost there. And it was really the best bit of opening a cardboard box and put bubble wrap I have ever done. So a lot more sponge in here. Wow. This is huge. I think this was actually 60 pounds in the set. Okay, so there's more than 4,000 they made then. 4692A slash C. Okay, that's a bit strange. The Expanse 2015 2022. Okay. I don't know if there's a book in here or not. Looks like it just sits on there, so that's quite interesting. How do I get this out? Um. Wow. See, when it lands, it has landing gear legs and then stands itself up. I'm intrigued to know if there's a book in here. So I'm gonna try and get the card, the sponge out. And obviously it stands there going through to keep an eye on that. Is there anything underneath here? No, and no magazine. Okay, no, that, that is honestly, that's fine. I kind of was maybe expecting one, but it's just part of the thing. 
Okay, so let's get that back in where it went. Did it go that way? Nope. Did it go that way? Yes. Okay, so box out of the way. It, it is just such... Wow, I've seen other models of the Rosnanti before and they were huge. I mean, watch my videos, you'll know that most Edel Moss models are either the width or the length of the hand. If it's, an, if it's a, a special one, it's usually exactly the same size of my hand. If it's um, quite ridiculously sized like this, um, it's um, halfway nearly past to my elbow, which isn't far off, to be honest. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so let's not drop this. Like I said, these these were uh, master replicas. Apparently, sent a lot of emails out to people saying that we apologise, we had to cancel your order because they were all they put three times the stock. And I did buy this and went out and check out within a minute. I thought I was really quick. People got their deliveries who were later ordered than I was, and I thought I'm definitely going to lose it. Definitely will not get this ship. Luckily. I just speak to a few people there, and, and, and yes, thank you Paddy, thank you uh, Max at uh, Master Replicas for, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say a guarantee in getting this to me, I was just absolutely pure lucky to get this. Because like I said, they didn't say they put triple the amount in stock, but I did watch this when it was first out, and it was, it was there, it was in stock, I bought it, everything's fine. And then it went out of stock about a minute, about a 30 second minute after I'd bought it, which is fine. I got mine guaranteed, well, <laughs> apparently guaranteed. And then it was back in stock again. And then it was out of stock. It was in stock, out of stock. It was, it, it was just something was weird. I think a lot of people were just adding all to basket just to see how many were in stock. It's a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a whatever move for that. It's not fair at all on other people trying to buy stuff because they look at it and think, oh, it's out in stock. I won't, I won't come back. But it's just people put it in basket. Stop doing that. It's just ridiculous. So let's have a look at... It's got the Ross and Auntie picture there. Let's go down the side. See, this is more like a, a, a proper rocket sort of thing. Big booster on the back. These tendrils, probably scanners at the front. Or more weapons. Gun on the side, big gun. You watch the, the fighting on these cross and anti, and it's just immense for the um, space battles. What they do. This is all running on the side. That's midsection. Probably a cargo hatch. Ring around the back where the engineering is, and right to this big, massive engine on the back. Isn't fired up. Let's go over the, let's go for the top, shall we? So another gun, <laughs> obviously weapons deployed this one. More Ross and Auntie on top. I don't know if these are cabins or cargo. Coming down to the front with a bridge, I assume. Everything was like in screen, so you never really, really got a, a view straight into the ship. Although you got all the sets inside. So you could, you could quite easily segregate between the ship inside and out, so you wouldn't need to do any fancy interiors for the model. I'm doing this section as well. Another gun. So a little really close up on one of these guns, if I can get this, there we go. Come on, focus, you can do it. Yeah, it's not, and the moulding's not very good, but this is extreme closeness to that, that gun. Just terrified of dropping this. It's not because it, it's sixty pound. I've bought models more expensive than that before, but it's it's knowing that there probably aren't any more of these around. Not without going ballistic on eBay to try and buy something like this. I mean, this is nice. This is really nice. I don't even know if that's a gun, weapon, or what. All I can say is wow. I mean, all, all, all extra than that is when I was speaking to um, at Max at Master Replicas before getting this, it was, um, I just don't get how Edel Moss went bust. I think they must have just gone, oh, we've made a load of ships, let's make a lot, lot more, and we've got the, the funding behind us. So at the moment, 
people are going ballistic for what master replicas are selling of the Eagle Moss stock. I mean, they're doing lots of other Battlestar Galactica, Doctor Who, hopefully going to space 1999. There's about three or four of those ships that they did. So, um, yeah. Ta-da! Not touching it. Ooh, yes. Now, they are, it's not just Star Trek stuff that they are doing. They're doing all of the stock that they can possibly do. And another company is doing the Enterprise D model build, as well as the Ecto-1, the DeLorean, the Mustang. So hopefully anytime soon, if anybody does did follow my um, the Enterprise D build, we should be starting that very, very soon. So we're just sat waiting patiently to start subscribing and getting deliveries. And once they're done, I'm in here. It looks like it'll be warmer anyway, so it's not like I'm gonna be building it over the winter months. But a year away from that, that's just quite ridiculous. But look at this, this is absolutely immense, this ship. Yeah, do love this. Absolutely well worth, <laughs> way, way, way worth the 60 pounds. I'd probably go easily up to 100, maybe more, just to get something like this. This is just proper, proper collectors. I probably, if we're gonna put it on a stand, I probably put some double-sided tape and on the, the actual stand and sit it in it so it wouldn't fall off. If it did fall off, then the whole thing's falling off. But I just think it's just an immense ship. For what is basically a space rocket with a lot of guns, I think they did really well with the Expanse. And it's a shame that... It's a shame that it stopped after Series 5 because there was so much they could have done. But, and a big but... Um, they crowdfunded for a Series 6, going, um, um, is anybody interested? Yeah, they, they, they broke the target, they've smashed past the target, and they are starting to film Series 6 anytime soon. So, yeah, it's now, it's not a fan-based, it is a proper production with a proper crew and the proper actors and everything with it, but it's going to be Series 6. And I assume that if they do that again, there could be a Series 7. So I'd never, I'd never actually put any money in towards it anyway. I don't have that sort of money. But if you do, please like, share, and subscribe. That was smooth, wasn't it? Like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on social, follow me on social media if you like. Um, consider being a Patreon to help out the channel every month. If I get more Patreons, I'll, I'll probably start doing giveaways or Patreon-only videos, and maybe expand that a little bit. At the minute, I've got a few. I've got some good long-term Patreons on there. I would like you to join them as well. So, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.